Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As we get closer to the much-anticipated revaluation RV of the Iraqi dinar, it's not surprising that we're seeing a surge in rumors, speculation, and yes, some rather outlandish theories. You may have noticed a lot of chatter online, especially in forums and social media groups, where so-called gurus are making bold claims about what's going to happen next. Some of these claims can be quite misleading, so it's important to separate fact from fiction. One of the most prevalent misconceptions circulating right now involves the idea of redemption centers. Some people are suggesting that these centers are completely separate from traditional banks and that they will offer significantly better exchange rates for your dinar. Let's take a moment to clear this up. First and foremost, it's crucial to understand that redemption centers are not separate entities from banks. In reality, they are simply an extension of the bank's operations, set up to handle what could be a significant increase in traffic during the RV process. These centers might be located off-premises to manage the expected volume more efficiently, but they are fully integrated with the banking system. In other words, they follow the same rules, regulations, and exchange rates as the banks. This brings us to a critical point. The notion that redemption centers might offer a higher exchange rate than banks is not only incorrect, it's illegal. According to the law of one price, a basic principle in economics, an asset or instrument cannot be sold in different markets at different prices. This law ensures that arbitrage opportunities, where someone could buy low in one market and sell high in another, are minimized or eliminated entirely. What this means in practical terms is that whether you exchange your dinar at a redemption center or at a traditional bank branch, the rate will be the same. Now, you might be wondering, if the rate is the same everywhere, is there any difference between exchanging at a redemption center versus a bank? The short answer is yes, but it's not in the way some of these rumors suggest. The difference you might encounter involves the fees associated with the exchange, not the rate itself. Typically, these fees can vary slightly depending on where you conduct the exchange. A standard fee might hover around 2%, but this isn't set in stone. It could be a bit higher or lower, depending on the institution and the services they offer. So the next time you hear someone claiming that a redemption center will give you three times the exchange rate that a bank will, take a step back and remember that this simply isn't how things work. The rate will be the rate, regardless of where you go. Your primary concern should be to ensure that you're dealing with a legitimate institution that provides you with fair and transparent service. Always do your due diligence, research your options, and make informed decisions.